So hey guys, Restoration Ninja back here. I just finished filing a cross cut saw for four hours. So I've got like a blister cut on my finger and stuff. Pretty miserable. I finally decided to put gloves on at the end, but it didn't really help. Kind of wore the blister away. Sorry, TMI. Um, but I just want to show you the end results of my Distin one man cross cut saw. Here you go. With the extended helper handle on the end. This thing is, well, at least the cutting edge is, let's find out here. Look at this weird old measure to work. It's got a cutting edge of. Three foot and four inches there. Three foot four inches. So that's um that's thirty that's forty inches exactly. Um it has I think it was like hundred and five teeth. Hundred and five teeth, I think. Let's count. So twelve, twenty-four, um forty-eight um, 48, let's see, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 80, 96, 96, um, 100 and 9, 110, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 150 teeth total, guys. That's not counting the broken off tooth right there. That was not the doing of me. That was when I got it. It's also missing some handle screws, as you can see. It's got the distant logo right there. Kind of just in himself. Um, this other second handle, it didn't have a helper handle when I got it, so I just took the handle off my one man cross cut saw. So I'll be doing a review uh, at some point. It also has a modded four handle. You can see this would have come down and to connect with this. Um, I paid fifteen dollars for the saw at a yard sale. Pretty good deal. Um, what else about it? Oh yeah, I cut through a log about eight inches in diameter. A piece of chestnut, hard dry chestnut. So that's been seasoned for about 200 years. Came from the log cabin that my grandfather's building, which I'll do a review on, or more like a tour of how, where it's at every now and then. Um, so there I have it guys. That's my 1830s two or one man crosscut saw. Peace out.